Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and today I want to show you how to make a vertical pallet garden to grow herbs on your deck or patio with an optional worm tower built right in. Stay tuned. Welcome back, subscribers. If you haven't joined us yet, you can do so by clicking on the Green Shorts icon that's going to appear in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen throughout the video. Herbs are a healthy and flavorful addition to any meal, and the best way to get fresh herbs is to grow them yourself. Not to mention, it's going to save you money. Let's get started. Tools for the job include a handsaw, a drill, and impact wrench. In my drill, I've got a Forstner bit, but you can use a spade bit of any size. A straight edge, measuring tape, got some sandpaper, a box knife, and a twisted sharpie from Greg's Garage, or any marking tool will do and a piece of scrap to serve as a cutting surface. A drill bit for pilot holes and a hammer. When selecting a pallet for any garden project, you wanna make sure it has the HT brand or marking. You can see the end of this serial number has an HT. That means that this pallet was heat treated to guard against pests versus chemically treated. It's safe to use next to soil and something that you're gonna eat. Herbs or plants of your choosing. Here I've got Greek oregano, lavender, and basil. We'll be doing a liner on this project. For that, I'll use a piece of scrap pond liner that I had laying around and an old t-shirt that I picked up at Goodwill. You also need screws and some small nails. We'll be filling our vertical garden with a mixture of compost and organic potting mix. If you're building the worm tower, you'll also need a scrap of screen and some Gorilla Glue or other waterproof adhesive. I'm actually going to cut this pallet in half and use one side of my garden. You can use a whole pallet if you'd like. I just like doing these on a smaller scale. But before I cut it in half, I'm going to use my drill and Forstner bit to drill holes down two of the boards I've got. And that's going to be for the worm tower, so if you're skipping that option, you don't need to do this. I'm going to stop just short of the top. Now that I've got my holes prepped on this side, I'm going to cut the pallet in half. These boards twist off fairly easily. Just use the hammer to get them out the rest of the way. You want to be extra careful with the boards that you put the holes in, not to damage them. Then pull any nails. Depending on your pallet, you may have a gap to fill. I'm actually going to rip off this piece here and use it as a block to fill that gap so I can put the boards across the back. If you've got a table saw or a steel saw, this would be a good option for that. I like doing it without electricity. A cross-cut saw just doesn't do this as well as a rip saw would. But don't have a rip saw. I'm gonna mark and cut a second piece for the other side.
it would have been nice if I hadn't split this wood. But I'm just going to nail it on here carefully and that should lock it back in. We'll definitely want to pre-drill these since they're a little shorter. We don't need to fill up the back entirely, just enough to hold our liner forward on the inside. So I'm going to pre-drill these at an angle. I'm going to use the existing holes partially here so I can get into this side piece. Use a shorter screw if I have one here. Alright, so we've got our back mostly plugged up enough to support the liner. This is moved to the front here, and we're going to fill a couple gaps on the front. You want to fill the gap the closest to the bottom. These will be our planting gaps, and I'm also going to cut a piece to fill in that little gap here. Obviously this will depend on what type of pallet you have. So I'm going to rip one of my boards to a little bit less than one and a half inches wide to fill this gap down here. The reason I'm doing that is because I want to make a pocket with the liner. The liner will come down the back and come up the front, so this whole bottom area here can retain as much water as possible. And then I'll plant here, here, and here. And we'll fill the gap. We pre trill this. We can use a couple of the nails we took out of our pallet. Next, we'll do a rough cut on the liner. Once we've trimmed one side of the liner, we need to dry fit it to determine the actual width. I'm going to cut a small scrap into two pieces and use it to tack down the top edges of the liner. Now let's install the liner. I'm folding over the lower edges of the liner to form the soil pocket.
Next, I'll cut two 3 inch wide loops off the hem of the t-shirt. And then I'll cut each loop in two equal parts. Next we're going to install our t-shirt strips to act as a movable barrier to hold the soil in. We'll be able to pull them apart to plant um, and then uh, they'll hold the soil from coming out through these cracks as the soil settles and as you water it. If you're going to use the worm tower option it'll go right here in the middle and so you don't need to worry about doing flaps there. But if you're not going to do that option you'll want to have a couple extra flaps of t-shirt to cover the soil in the middle section as well. We're going to tack our t-shirt panels to this top board here using our tiny nails. Before I do it, I'm going to mark the middle so I know where my worm tower section is going in and then I can align my t-shirt strips accordingly. So I'm actually going to overlap these a little bit. Three is probably enough. You could just leave this like this, but I'm actually going to finish it out with a piece of wood that will cover the full width. Since that's going to be viewable here on the top, I want that to look nice instead of the short piece that we had left over from our ripped board. To build our worm tower portion, we're going to use our two drilled boards and one undrilled board. We're just going to butt joint these with a couple of screws. Put this clean edge up toward the top Remember that our holes are oriented toward the bottom. Next we'll add our soil. I'm going to mix together the compost and the garden soil in a big bin. If you're afraid of getting your hands dirty, use gloves. I'm not afraid. The hawk likes this project. Before I start putting soil in, I'm going to pull my t-shirt tabs out the bottom here. That'll help me straighten them out later. Then I'm going to add enough soil to fill the bottom pocket of the liner. It's a little hard to see, but you want to make sure that the soil stays behind the liner instead of getting out between it and the pallet. Once you've got the soil up to this level, it's time to put in the worm tower. Our worm tower is just the right length to get down to that level. The board is going to go toward the front, so let's just work this down inside. This is actually pretty tight. So you just need to work it down in slowly and make sure that it doesn't pull the liner down as it goes. If your liner gets trapped like mine just did, pull it back out and start over. If your worm tower is just too tight, try sanding down these boards to thin them out just a little bit. Some pretty heavy duty sandpaper here. Let's see if that helps. If Sandy doesn't do it, use your box knife to shave it down. Use caution here. Always cut away from you instead of toward you. Another trick would be to loosen the boards on the front of the pallet to allow the worm tower to slide in more easily. Then you can nail them back down. I'm going to try that. Yeah, 
Yeah, that did the trick. We want to recess the top of the worm tower about three quarters of an inch below the top of our garden here because the lid is going to sit right down on top of that. Now that our worm tower is in, we can fill the rest of the garden with soil. But it's easier to do that laying it flat. Just want to make sure our t-shirt straps are out of the way. Don't want to bury them underneath the soil. Once I've got this section filled halfway, I'm going to grab a plant. I'm going to put the basil on the bottom since it's going to grow upright and not cascade like the oregano. I got two plants here, so I'm going to divide those carefully. And I'm going to go ahead and start this leaning back here so it's okay when it gets to vertical. Once I've got those two plants in, I'm going to go to the compartment above it and push soil back down into this section. Remind these guys they're not in pots anymore. Once the front facing plants are in, you know, pull the t-shirt out to help it cover the soil. It's probably gotten twisted as you put the soil in. You'll be able to adjust this as your plants grow, tucking it in as you need to. This will let the soil breathe and at the same time keep it from coming out the front of this. Weed block would have worked here as well, but I didn't want to buy a whole roll for this small job. Plus, it's made out of oil, it's plastic, so. But for cotton, it's gonna breathe and hold the soil back. And it's brown, so you hardly even notice it. You get to your bottom plant, simply just tuck it in like you tuck in a shirt. While we're still laying down, Let's give it some water. Also help rinse the soil off the front. But our herb garden is gonna sit like this. So we need to add a kickstand. And for that we're gonna use the extra side of the pallet. Finally, we'll add a little more soil and the lavender to the two top openings. We've already got a bee. I'm gonna use a small block of wood to flatten out the liner in the back of the worm tower portion here. I'm going to be watering through the worm tower. The holes will allow the water to move out to both sides and at the same time pull nutrients that the worms have composted out of the food scraps into the garden. I'm using short screws here so that they don't pierce the back. Lastly, I'm going to measure for the lid. Five inches wide.
Now pallet wood isn't the best. And I noticed this board is already split. So I'm actually going to shore it up with a couple of screws before I drill out the openings. I gotta keep in mind that my screws are along that axis. I'm gonna drill three holes across this. Well, there you have it, a vertical pallet herb garden for your patio or deck. Fresh herbs right at your fingertips. If you did the worm tower component of this, I've got another video that's going to show you how to install the worms and tell you where you need to get them. You can click on the card here to find that video and it's going to queue up to the part that you need. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for new DIY videos every Friday.